Hi, this is Chris Terrell with WDVB. In this video, we're going to be looking at some compile errors that happen, uh, specifically compile errors that happen around loops. Um, those, they can happen for a couple reasons. Um, one, you have started the loop but not ended the loop, or you've ended the loop and not started the loop. We're going to look at three different loops. We're going to look at the for loop, the do loop, and the while when loop. Typically, don't use the while when, but it's the same as do. Do loop. So let's go ahead and dig right in. I've got the code here. I'll actually include this in the comments so that you'll have it. Um, Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So the first one we're going to look at, I'm going to comment out the next. I'm going to hit F8. It's going to say for without a next because I have commented out that next. So what it's looking for is it's saying where does this loop end? I've started a loop, but how does it how does it end? And that's the issue with that one. Now I can do the same thing by comment out the beginning of it. It's going to say, hey, wait a sec, I've got a next without a for. So I've got a I've got a expected loop, but I don't know where it starts. I see where it ends. And so the say, this error is, is identical among all of these loops. So I'm going to comment out the end of the loop. It's going to say you've got to do without a loop. And the loop is the end of the do loop. I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to say you've got a loop without a do. This sounds like a funny little wrap that we're doing here. That same thing with the wind. I'm going to get rid of the wind. It's going to say, hey, you got a while without a wind. And then, finally, you can get a win without a while. Yay, we've gone through all of them. I know that's super exciting to tell all your friends at the parties. Um, but really quick, what I, want, what I did want to show you is what can happen sometimes is if you've got a, an if statement and you've placed at your end in the wrong area. So you notice I've got my if statement, but I end in the middle of that loop. You're going to end up with a you're going to end up with a blocked if statement and you're going to get completely confused because you're like wait a sec I've got an if but I got an end but the problem is is it doesn't see that end because that end loop that end if is actually inside of the existing loop so if I put this anywhere inside this loop I'm going to have that same error um, and the same is true if I'm just going to undo that real quick and get back to kind of where is that the same is kind of true I'm going to comment out this if you have a if inside of a inside of a inside of a for loop and get rid of this right here I'm trying to go as fast as I can if eight you're going to get a next without a four because you've got that if statement so sometimes it actually can be your loop loop is ending or it's not ending but sometimes if depending on how you have have your ifs included it can have those can cause issues as well hope this helps you hope you uh eliminate some headaches and you don't run into these problems or at least when you find them this will help you solve them hope you enjoyed